realize chocolate was a drink for 3,000 years. And that's what we're doing here, is we're demonstrating how chocolate was made for most of its history. Oh, it all starts with the cocoa pod. This is a real cocoa pod that was grown in, in the Dominican Republic. Uh, those beans have uh, browned a little bit since we opened it this morning. It would look like this coming out of a pod fresh, very white, uh, sweet pulp that's on them. So the farmer will take those, those beans out of the pod, ferment and dry the, dry the beans, and this is what he ships to a chocolate manufacturer, a dried cocoa bean. Chocolate manufacturer will roast that bean, break it a little bit, take the shell off of it. This is 100% cacao right here. This is what every chocolate maker in history has always used to make chocolate, is the roasted cocoa nib. So in this case, we would take that roasted nib, we'd break that up in a mortar and pestle, put that on a heated lava stone matate, this one comes from Mexico. They still use them in Mexico today there. And then you grind back and forth, break up the cocoa pod, melt the cocoa butter. The shine you see on here is melted cocoa butter. There's no water on the stove. And then a chocolate maker would put his proprietary chocolate recipe with different spices such as anise, some nutmeg, cinnamon, red pepper, some dried orange peel, vanilla, a little bit of salt, a little bit of a natto for a red coloring. And he could make his grind that and make his chocolate right here in his chocolate stone. When he has that ground down, we will scrape our chocolate off, take it off the heat, put it in the pan, and that'll solidify when it cools down. So in 1750, if you were getting chocolate for Benjamin Franklin, you'd go to the store and get a, a bar of chocolate like this. You wouldn't eat it on the way home. It's not made for eating. It's made for making a drink out of it. So you take your bar, you grate your bar, and this is grated chocolate. Put your grated chocolate in a chocolate pot with hot water. We know it's a chocolate pot because there's a hole in the lid, because we're trying to mix water and, and cocoa butter together, uh, water and oil. So we have to vigorously mix that in there, pour that into our cup, and that's how we make chocolate. So that's how chocolate was made for 3,000 years. It's only been a confection for the last 100 years or so.